Okay, WWE no cards. Um, I want to get this uh, kind of done and everything. So I'll, I'll go with the pre-show first. Um, it looks like that. That's what that's going to be. It's going to be the according to Wikipedia. It's going to be Neville and the Lucha Dragons versus the Cosmic Wasteland of um, the Ascension and Stardust and. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, instead of, so, I, I'd love to see the Ascension win, because I actually like the, I like the, the Ascension, uh, now, um, I think if you just push them right, it will work, um, then I'll go to the, uh, next lot of stuff, uh, the New Day, Uh, versus the D D D Dudley Boys. Um, I'd, I'd like to see the Dudley Boys win the match. Um, I, I, I think that's where they're probably going. Um, but you might... Uh, I could see it going both ways. But my pick would be the Dudley Boys. Uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Rusev. Um, I'd probably put Rusev over. Unless some... Unless Summer is going to do some sort of distraction thing. Um, and then we get, uh, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and a mystery partner against the Wyatt family. Now, I could see this being Eric Rowan. Uh, I've heard people mention The Rock. I've heard people, like, I, I could see it being a lot of people, um, uh, it could be J uh, Jimmy Uso, I think. Could be a contender. Um, I don't know who it could be, but yeah, that's my few guesses. But uh, I see them going over uh, the Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Um, I don't see. Uh, personally, I think if anyone from the White side of family think we uh, should win, it should be Bray or this. Braun Strowman. Go in, yeah. Uh, then we get Nikki Bella versus Charlotte. Uh, oh, and they added a stip to this. I didn't see this. Um, if the Bella, uh, one of the Bellas gets counted out or disqualified, she loses the title anyway. Uh, I say Charlotte goes over because they, they painted her into a corner and they've done what they need to do. I'd say Charlotte goes over. Unless there's a swerve. <sighs> I haven't got any theories on that, though. Uh, Kevin Owens versus the Ryback. Um, I think Ryback's reign as Intercontinental Champion has been largely forgettable. Uh, I think you could put the belt on Kevin Owens and it would go uh, uh, over pretty well. Okay, now, Seth Rollins versus John Cena. I see this happening uh, a bit earlier in the show. Probably one of the first matches out, if not the first match out of the pay-per-view. And, um... <clears throat> yeah, um... And, conceivably, um, they've just put the US title on, um... John, uh, on, uh, Seth R R Rollins, so why take it off him? Uh, so, and then you've got the Sting versus Seth Rollins ma uh, match, and I, I can s conceivably see Sting going over there. Um, so, my theory is who, if he's probably going to win one and lose one, and I think, conce conceivably, I think he's going to retain the US title, lose the world title to Sting, Sting's going to get a bit of a run with the belt. But largely also depends on whether how Sting's contract works. If he gets a little, a couple of, because you could have him here and then just do what they did and have him continue like be off TV and that. But uh, that's a long time to be off TV, and I wouldn't. It doesn't sound like there's anything in the works to really keep things going like they were last year. At this time, so 
honestly, uh, yeah, it depends on how Sting's contract works, but I'm going to go with he retains the US title and he loses the world title. That's my theory. And then you have, you can continue this, uh, Seth Rollins, um, uh, uh, John Cena storyline. Uh, one of the f upcoming pay-per-views is Hell in a Cell. They do a Hell in a Cell for the US title. Um, slash number one, and then you have a number one contendership for Sting's thing. But yeah, that's my theory. Uh, this should go up uh, pretty soon. Um, I just got a couple of things to do. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying the uh, How I Met Your Mother Revisited. Um, I'm going to film some more of that uh, pretty soon. Um, but I've got that uh, well taken care of until October. So, see you around.